So, and yes, what do you think are the key skills for a data engineer in terms of um, coding, uh, technology domain? So, what do you think is more important <laughs> for interview perspective? It's always, uh, that's always the tricky part. And what are the basic skills? And that's why, that's why I built this, the blueprint back of where every, every project of, of all of you is, has the blueprint as the, as the basis, right? We have to connect the, the, the buffer, the process, the storage and the visualization. And there is now really one, one thing that you have to know, but it's, it's more of, um, you should be able to do at least, or have the knowledge of at least one tool in each of these sections. So let's say you choose, like I did in the time series, uh, no, not in the time series, uh, in the documents, uh, document streaming project where I had MongoDB and uh, Docker and I had Spark and Kafka and I think Fast API. This so in every one of these uh, is is one thing that you that you are are knowledgeable in. You understand how these things work. And if you know fast API and can create an API there, then you can also create an API on GCP or you can create an API on Azure. It's not really a big deal then. If you know MongoDB, uh, you will you will be able to transition to DynamoDB or to Cosmos DB or whatever else document store then. Right? So Yeah, I think I think that's what companies care about. Like, yeah, if you know like one of them, then like, okay, like like if you knew AWS and they want and they do it on Azure, I don't think they ever care about that because yeah, they'll know you'll be able to figure it out, and you know it's all it's sort of similar. Yeah. So yeah, completely. But it's agree. it's important to have these skills so you understand. Okay, how can I build a, a simple ETL job where I take data from from a data source like a database or and uh, query it from an external API and then write it somewhere into a warehouse or, or into a data lake like these these simple things people always people always think they need to have these or you you always need to be like a superman to be a data engineer need to know all the tools and be super super good in everything uh, that's actually not true if you have these these this the right skills in the right areas then you can do a lot and that's the, so that's why I, I also answered this a bit more general um, because it's literally this you you need to you need to have coding skills without coding skills you know um, without coding you can't do nothing you you need to start coding nowadays with python every everything is python with every platform um, and you need to you need to understand how relational databases work because without knowing how to design a relational database or use it or use and query a relational database it's it's super hard to get into these other data stores that are no sequel and yeah and also the, like the the how's it called it's uh uh, I don't know how's it called in English. Like the the your your craftsmanship that you your your development skills basically the the standard development skills that you know how to as I said you know how to how to um, develop stuff you know how to test stuff you know how to use Git for for your uh, for your code management or for code repositories and and collaboration with your colleagues. Like these are the the main things. <laughs> 